Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and today we're going to have an exclusive look at Blast World. Blast World is an FPS shooter where you shoot foam at your friends or other people online, so it's a multiplayer FPS. And uh, it's got unique um, locomotion setting where you kind of like obviously use your hands or something like that to move along or you can just teleport if you find you get motion sickness but the idea is you use both if you can. Also you can climb pretty much every surface, jump off at the highest top and you can just glide down or even fly, I think I've heard, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, so let's just uh, find out what it's like and jump in. Right, so uh, joining the map that way, oh, all the rooms are gone. Demo version, so the demo version is gonna constantly keep getting up. The demo version basically is the actual game and it's gonna constantly, uh, it's gonna constantly update. It's a catch of the flag. So you got like FFA, well, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, I'm assuming something like CS goes. It's community map, so if I start this map right. Now, clearly states, right? Okay, yeah, so you don't get that with intense. All right, so the, anyway, this does look nice, but to walk, I believe, am I pressing the wrong button? What the hell's that sound? Like I killed something. Not, oh, here we go. To walk, you gotta push both thumbsticks down. And then swing your hands. And we all know that we're not entirely fond about swinging your hands, but it's supposed to add more realism. And it, in a way, it kind of does. Now, I'm supposed to add something into the console, right? Uh, not that one. This is self reload. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, I just teleported away. Hey dude, if you can hear me, what am I supposed to put MP into? Console, I would have thought that I can't bring the console. Services as well. That is cool.
Where are you, dude? Wait, wait, wait. Where that rocket launch is going off in your face. Dude, I'm not getting no damage, I don't get it. Yeah. It's like stuck to your face, like almost. Stays here, right? Run away! Yeah, it looks good. This game looks good. Plays pretty well. Early stages of the game at the moment. Didn't add the bloom. I couldn't work out how to add the bloom. I got like a code to put in to add the latest. I couldn't work it out. Where did the guy get a rocket launcher from that? It must be like pickups, right? Or go and check. Do 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 no console love the cars as well the the uh, art design is pretty decent as well like the tire over there capture the flag Game starting in five seconds. Oh, that's why. On red team. Well, I had to start the game. I don't even know where the flag. Oh, there's a flag here, though. Oh, I'm on red team. That's my flag. All right, we've got a plane dropping loot. So I keep forgetting to press the thumbsticks in. Uh, what the? No. <laughs> Your enemy 
Your enemy team has flag the has enemy been flag. Okay, so the flag's not the most easiest thing to pick up right now, right? I think. Definitely got it though. No, no, I haven't got it. Now I'm, both my hands are gone. Oh, I'm kind of handless right now. That's uh, let's go to the menu screen again. So now we're in the valve index, and uh, I noticed the sound wasn't working on Streamlabs properly. So that's a bit interesting as well. So we're going to see what this is like on anyway on the. Uh, on the index compared to the to the Rift S. I mean, I, I noticed already the sharpness, which is good, and I didn't notice the glare straight away. Well, then I have to be looking at a white flipping object just here. Uh, well, yeah, okay, scrap that. I kind of do notice the glare, but it's easy to notice when you're switching between two headsets. So. Um, there's no servers on but you gotta remember this this game you can play this game right now by the way so if if you want to try this game out just search from last world and you'll see there's a demo the demos actually the whole game and they plan to keep upgrading this demo until it's where they want to be when they release it so it won't be released as an early access it will be released as a full-fledged game um, they will just keep upgrading this uh, demo and when it does launch, it'll launch also on the Oculus Quest and Steam simultaneously. And um, I believe you can sideload this on Quest, but um, when I asked the developers if this is coming to Quest, I didn't get any answers. I didn't get any answers. So, you know, you judge what that means for yourself. Also, Windows Mixed Reality is not written down as a supported headset, but if you have a Windows Mixed Reality headset, the devs say it should work. So that's kind of interesting as well. Oh, there is a server now. Okay, so we could drop into this server and see how the index runs. There's only one person in this server. Now, if you've noticed, this has got a weird um, locomotion mode and I don't know if it's turned on. So we're gonna go and turn it on. There we go. Where you use your hands to move. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh, what the hell? Why is your gun so far away from your body? <laughs> um, I made a bug. I'm trying to, like, fine tune the gun position, but I ended up not fine tuning the <laughs> bug. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> so have you figured out the game? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I know like yeah, to start the game we've got to hit that arcade machine probably as well. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Well, but I'm just checking it out right now. Yeah, that'd be cool if we could get some proper games. Oh, that's cool. Proper thumbstick movement. Did you say or? Well, sort of like just move forward and backwards by using the thumbstick. Yeah, some people would like that because it's like in pretty much every shooter, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, Contractors, Onward, Pavlov, and Rec Room, like you said, and yeah, Paintball. Oh, adding sprint, that'd be cool, yeah. Yeah, it's all a big test. I'm just, um, we're doing what 
people want. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, yesterday when I was playing Capture the Flag, I picked up the flag and my hands disappeared. Is that a bug or? <laughs> That's a bug, okay. Or do you mean, or if it was an enemy flag that was, uh, or if, if it's just your own flag that was dropped by the enemy, then it will be returned when you pick it up. Uh, no, no, I picked up uh, an enemy flag and both, well, whichever hand I used disappeared and then I tried the other hand and that disappeared and I had no hands. <laughs> That's feedback. I know you're kind of building on the game. It's it's pretty. It looks beautiful. I really like the art style. Yeah, I'm really happy about the technical um, side of things. Um, I've been working on that quite a while. I'm still working on it. As you see, like I have I haven't been able to get to do content creation that much yet. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing at the hands. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's easy to use the ha uh, hand swinging movements uh, in the index than it is the Rift S, I think. Oh. Yes, yeah, I have both. Okay. I'm on the index, yeah. Yeah, uh, it might be because the um, hands are too close to you in the Oculus. I'm, I'm just testing that right now. And when you swing them, you don't get as much leverage because uh, your hands are closer to your uh, finger. Of yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's got, you're a little quiet on my headset. I just wanted if my volume set right. Oh no, it's, so it's quite far down. Oh, there we go. So are you the guy from Discord that told me about the black thing? Uh, the, um, yeah. I'm, with a? Yeah, uh, I'm Paolo oh, Triani. Ah, oh, you're the, uh, you're the YouTuber guy. I'm the YouTuber guy, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm uh, trying to get more uh, video on this right now. Really. Uh, mm. Did you figure out the camera thing? No, no, I didn't. Like where to put the MP? No. Uh, so. I thought it was console, but I, I couldn't. Hope I put Tilda. Was right. So it was just Paolo, I think, or just something. But anyway, if you select the game window so that it's active and just press MP your cam should change a bit, it should be smoother and you should have bloom on the cam and... Yeah. Uh, yeah. My name's actually Paolo Triani on it, no, no, Paolo though, uh, I believe. Um, okay. So that might be an issue. <laughs> yeah, it might have been wrong account, but you can try it. I could try it, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go and explore this map. Actually, I was, I've been on this map, I might need to actually go and try a different map. Okay. So I can show the maps off as well. Right, yeah. I'm gonna go back to uh, fixing my hand. I know you never answered the Oculus Quest question. Is that because you can't answer that question yet? What? Is this coming to the Oculus Quest or? Yeah, yeah, sure. It um, is? The Oculus, uh, I think they kind of like green lighted this. I don't know if it's like official official but uh, but you're hoping that yeah we they no they we played it with the oculus guys and they said that we are like a, approved oh that's fantastic for the thing. we just need to pass the qa and we're good oh that's that's great news for you guys that's fantastic because the quest is definitely sells copies of games for sure and you would definitely make money on the quest oh, that would be sweet <laughs> yeah just hoping to make I've also got a quest as well, by the way. 
the PvP games are quite hard because you have to have like a huge, um, huge player base. But well, well, yeah, I'm targeting both the Steam and the Quest, so maybe it's enough. Oh, know. so you, you're gonna ha you're gonna have a uh, cross-play between yeah. both, yeah? Oh, that's good, well, fantastic, yeah. Awesome. But yeah, that will help. PSVR too, like later. Brilliant. All right, anyway, I'm gonna jump to a different map. All right, see you. Bye bye. Did you, did you notice that um, I'm still getting this flashy thing that I was complaining about on After H? Is there something wrong with my headset right now? If any of you guys know what that is, put it in the comments below why my headset is going grey because it's also happening in After H. I might test other games out later on. Yeah, I'm getting skipping frames. So, is every time I'm skipping a frame, am I... I noticed that the audio changed on this, and so maybe they changed the Kodak on Streamlabs, and it's making me skip files, and that's what's happening there with that. Anyway, let's try a different map out quickly. Uh, oh, my control is just... See, I had this problem as well, right? Didn't I have the H as well? Hmm. Right, uh, so we were on, was it Shank, Shake Town? Can we go back? I don't think we can go back. Is there no back button here? Okay, so the only other map, there's just two maps right now. And this, this map is the other map. And I haven't, we haven't seen this map yet. Oh, I've got it on, um, I've got it on uh, comfort mode, not, you know when it's on comfort mode. When you want to start a game and there's enough players, you hit this uh, start game here. So you heard him there, he's gonna add, because a lot of people have asked for it and said they don't really, uh, they're not always this fond of this immersive movement of moving your hands. I know I'm kind of facing the wrong way, let me face you guys when you have to move your hands like this, right? A lot of people don't like this. Now, I'm not a fan, but I, I say it works pretty well in this. But if you're shooting and you have to shoot really quick, you're doing this, so you have to stop to shoot. That might not be the preferred way to do things. I can see that some textures are not on the trains yet here, but obviously that it will come because that is an obvious texture missing. Oh, that was so cool for a second there. I thought I was exploiting. And don't forget, in this game, you can sort of you can put your gun away. Now this was something I was being a bit stupid about, but look, look check this wall out, right? Now you can climb any surface in this game as well. Use the grip button. The index works really well on here, and the glare when you're in here, I can still see it, but I'm gonna say that 99.9% of you guys are not going to see any glare. So my volume was actually low as well. So don't forget you can teleport and so you have the option of walking and teleporting. So free locomotion is going to be added. Um, he said that he's going to add something to the thumbsticks today. And that was one of the developers I was just talking to, but you probably guys can hear him very much because my volume was so goddamn low. But that's what he was saying. But this is this is this is going to be one of the combat areas. I keep forgetting because like not only do you move your hands like this, but you're also supposed to push the thumbsticks forward um, to move. This is only on intense mode. When you're on comfort mode, this is naturally turned off. And. Uh, it looks, you know, it, it's nice and sharp. That's the thing, you don't have this Vaseline or kind of blur. Like I said, a little bit of super sampling never ever goes a long way, but the index, I don't feel like you need it. Maybe the Rift S, probably a little bit more super sampling, because obviously it's gonna be sharper in this. And I actually do see the screen door in this, but I'm not entirely sure if that screen door I'm seeing or just the textures on the trains. But you know, 
not entirely sure at all actually. It is nice and sharp in the index and I would say that um, right up against the wall here and I um, you know it's my floor design I don't know what's going on there I have to redraw that it's very weird um, so basically the index is sharper less screen door effect I'm getting massive glare off the light over there you see the light on the wall here this this thing here which is probably going to be a billboard or something or actually is probably just the light source that that's why uh, that that one's a little less but I'm still getting glare off it um, we wouldn't get that uh, as bad on the Rift S but I'd say that if I wanted to play this game the uh, index is definitely uh, definitely the headset that you play this game on it's amazing well that's until the quest comes out because I can imagine this being amazing on the quest and he heard it straight here the devs is gonna add this uh, I've probably got the green light well he's said he's got the green light on on the quest so eventually it will be coming out of the quest I don't know if he didn't say anything about um, cross play on the quest but it's gonna be cross play between the rift and steam but you know uh, yeah it's like I'm seeing uh, screen door right that must be some sort of uh, oh, I can't believe I fell down there I think that's just some sort of effect on the fact that that hasn't been um, has the textures yet but the draw distance on this is just so much more uh, better as well I might reinstall steam or something here and reinstall the drivers for this or something I don't know because look at this thing this was this was happening in the rift uh, the, um, after H and I was complaining about after H having this bug with the guns where they were kind of flying away but it might be something to do with my side uh, anyway so yeah um, you fire basically like nerf guns but they call them foam here yeah, because obviously you know I don't want to get sued herf guns you sh you sh you're shooting herf guns didn't say nerf. Don't say nerf. Um, yeah, this is a pretty uh, cool map as well. And there's going to be, uh, if you notice, like if I go back out of this, uh, sends right. I return to menu. Double click. That's pretty nice as well to check your thing. Uh, well, I have to go back around this way. Right. If you notice here, when I uh, look, you know, it's not my controller's in the wrong place again. It's like, it's completely in the wrong place. And it's not this game that's doing this. This is my side. Because I was having a problem with another game I was playing recently called After H, which is a nice graphical game as well. Um, this is more uh, rec room -y kind of. Uh, that's why he kind of mentioned Rec Room, but uh, this is like an upgrade of the Rec Room by far. I'm, I'm not actually a fan of the Rec Room shooter, but this 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 looks promising. Um, but yeah, I've definitely got something wrong with my controller. I think it's back now though. Uh, Crate. Now you've noticed this bit here, Community Maps. So that's interesting as well. So Community Maps means that maybe you could, you know, make maps or put maps in. Tracking's working really good. So. I fixed what the problem was with the uh, with the Rift S. I mean, with the Index, the Rift S has worked perfectly fine. It's it's this. Okay. Um, let's just try this train station one again because that's pretty cool. Let's try putting in. I don't know if this guy. Don't know. And let's just uh, let's just start this up, and then let's go in here and see. Massive arm, massive thumb. So they um, there you go. They they added um, actual normal movement in it now, as you can see. So I don't have to do this anymore. I can. He said he was going to add this today, and here it is. And uh, yeah, it's been about, what, three, four hours since I was last in here talking to him. So, um, the dev didn't take long to put it in. And it seems like it's working 
pretty well. So yeah, that's really cool. So look at these uh, pellets. Oh, they look, they look all right, don't they? Oh, now I'm shooting through it, am I? Oh, no, no, not really. There you go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And don't forget you got the teleport as well. And that's now working pretty well as well. So you got the choice of t both things. Now this is kind of like a get out of jail card, right? Having a teleport as well. So you can just do this kind of this crazy ass stuff and then at least it's got snap turning as well. Cause then, you know, if you haven't got like a wireless adapter cause I get entangled in my cables. That's what makes the Quest really good as well. I'd love to see a wireless adapter for the uh, Index and the Rift S come out. I have got the uh, Cosmos on pre-order, but I don't have the um, adapter on pre-order. I don't, oops, have that neither. So there you go. We got actual full smooth locomotion now as an option. And we have snap turning still, but snap turning is fine. It's actually a pretty nice snap turn as well. It's about 45 degrees. So yeah, quite happy with that. Smooth turning would be kind of nice as well. Well, there you have it. There is Blast World. And uh, yeah, it's a early game, obviously. And you can actually play it right now. If you just search for Blast World, you'll see there's a demo. The demo is actually the full game in its present form. They're building on it as they go along. And when it's actually finished, it will be released simultaneously on Oculus and on Steam. And it'll be cross-play. It's also going to come to the Quest because uh, they said they've got a green light for it. Um, there's quite a lot to enjoy about this game. It's a proper arena rec room fun shooter with your friends that you can enjoy. And it actually looks pretty damn good in, this, in it as well. The, the, the actual art design is actually quite nice. And they just added smooth locomotion as well instead of the uh, running thing because a lot of people didn't really like this running thing that much. So, um, you know, they're listening obviously out to their community and um, they've added some locomotion for that. So now it's going to be a full on crazy ass shooter. And is, obviously there's going to be a speed option in there as well. So hopefully it's going to be a faster running because I think he mentioned about doing that too. And at the moment there's only a couple of maps, but there was also something about custom maps as well, community maps. So that's interesting to see as well. Um, very uh, decent looking game. Uh, you're going to have, uh, if you look at the support, you won't see Windows Mixed Reality support, but it, the devs do tell me that it should work fine for Windows Mixed Reality as well. So that's fantastic. Um, and you can help them right now uh, by just playing it, you know, and then going to their Discord channel, and um, which I'll link their Discord channel down below. And you can, um, you, you can actually uh, give them some good criticism and uh, and they'll build on that, you know, and uh, hopefully this will be an amazing game, obviously with the cross play as well. I think that it's it's going to be really, really fun. I think as well, this is something that, you know, it's not just going to appeal to my age group, it's going to appeal to all age groups. So I think that's that's a great positive as well. So if you like this video, please give me a like and also uh, subscribe because we go straight to the heart and also hit the bell button if you want to see me more VR content like this and also a follow up video of Blast World. And uh, yeah, I love you a long time. Ciao.